me here at the OFAH Heritage Center. Today's virtual lesson is all about foxes. We'll aim to answer five questions about one of the smaller members of the canine family, how to identify the species of fox that call Ontario home, where do they live, what do they eat, can you harvest foxes in Ontario, and we'll also learn a little bit more about a virus that foxes are susceptible to, rabies. All right, to answer our first question, what species of fox live in Ontario? There are two species of fox that call Ontario home. The first being the Arctic fox. The Arctic fox's scientific name is Vulpes legopus, which means to have furry feet. Compare this to, say, the scientific name for the willow ptarmigan, whose feet are covered in feathers for warmth. Arctic foxes are found in the northern parts of Ontario, up and around James Bay. Arctic fox are omnivores, primarily feeding on rodents like lemmings, but they will also consume berries. And the second species is the red fox, featured here behind me, who will be the focus of the rest of the lesson. The red fox's scientific name is Vulpes vulpes, which translates to fox fox. An adult red fox can weigh anywhere from 4 to 6 kilograms and measure approximately 1 meter from nose tip to tail tip. One third of a red fox's body length is actually made up of its tail. And while its common name, red fox, suggests that its fur is red, that's not always the case. For example, here I have the pelt of a red fox, but I also have here the pelt of a cross fox, which is genetically the same species, but just a different color phase. A cross fox is mostly red, but has darker markings of a cross on its back and on its shoulders. Red foxes can also be brown or black or varying shades in between. The term silver fox is sometimes used to describe a black color phase red fox with white tipped guard hairs, a highly sought after pelt in the fur industry. Our next question is where do foxes live? Red foxes live in a variety of different habitats and have been known to live fairly close to humans. They prefer meadow habitats and forest edge habitat and those which provide feeding opportunities. Our next question is what do they eat? Red foxes are omnivores and while they will consume berries and plants, they'll primarily consume small rodents. Have you ever wondered how something as small as a rodent can survive the freezing cold temperatures of winter? Here's an experiment that you can try to help you discover how these tiny creatures stay warm. This is an experiment you'll need to do in the winter. And you'll need a small container such as a film canister with a lid. Fill it with water and make sure the lid is on tight. Gear up and head outside to look for a good place to hide your rodent. Where would be a safe place to hide? Where would be a warm place to hide? Even though rodents find their way into rural homes and barns, placing your rodent inside is not an option. Leave your rodent outside for at least one hour and then go back and check on it. If the water froze, your rodent froze. But if it didn't freeze, it means you found a place that was well insulated. Any material that helps to trap air will insulate. For example, snow can even be an insulator because of the air trapped between the fallen snowflakes. Our next question is can you harvest a fox in Ontario? The answer is yes. Both the arctic fox and the red fox is considered a fur-bearing mammal. Both arctic fox and red fox can be harvested by a hunter with a possession and acquisition license, an outdoors card and a small game license, or they can be trapped by a licensed trapper. And to wrap up the lesson, we'll talk a little bit about a virus that foxes are susceptible to, rabies. If you own a dog or a cat, 
You've probably taken them to the veterinarian's office every couple of years to get their rabies vaccination. Rabies is a fatal virus that affects mammals, all mammals, including humans. Other mammals that most often transmit rabies include bats, raccoons, and skunks. The virus is found in the saliva of an infected animal and can be transferred through a bite or if that saliva gets onto an open wound or through a mucous membrane. In humans, a series of vaccinations and treatment with rabies antibodies can prevent infection in humans in most cases if administered soon after exposure. Managing rabies in Ontario is the responsibility of several municipal, federal and provincial entities including the Ministry of Northern Development, Mines, Natural Resources and Forestry. One of the ongoing strategies to manage rabies in Ontario is the release of oral rabies vaccine baits. They're distributed by hand, by bait station, by helicopter or sometimes by plane. The idea is that the animal will come across the bait, consume it and then be vaccinated. Here in Ontario, mammals are also trapped, vaccinated and released. For more information about rabies in Ontario, check out the government's website at ontario.ca slash rabies. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like this video and comment below. And if you and your class would like to learn more about Ontario's foxes, reach out and book a free live question and answer session with one of our educators. Don't forget to subscribe to stay connected as we learn together outside the classroom.